everyone welcome to the channel and welcome back to the channel if you're a returning viewer and that's right we are doing resident evil 3 i can't tell you how excited i am to do this uh, game i've been wanting to do this game for a very long time so what we're going to do is we're going to play this on hard mode and not just because i think oh i'm so good and all that stuff there's some uh, perks to playing on hard mode versus easy mode the main one is the fact that you get, uh, no sorry, two, there's two perks. The first one is that uh, you can get a different handgun by taking down Nemesis two times in two different areas and you can build the Eagle handgun, which is a stronger handgun than the uh, regular uh, Beretta that you start off with. The second is later on, about halfway through the game, at the clock tower, you get something called the mine launcher, or mine thrower, whatever it's called, I can't exactly remember. Um, but that's where Resident Evil 4 got its uh, mine thrower, because it came from this game. <coughs> also, this is also the first Resident Evil game that has the mercenaries mode. It's not your typical mercenaries mode, like 4, 5, or 6. Uh, it's more a mission based, kind of like, um, <coughs> sorry about that, kind of like uh, Revelations, um, in the sense of there's something you have to do, and that's about it, you know, you, certain things, uh, like Revelations 2, you have to uh, get to the gold coin, take out guys, get to the gold coin, stuff like that. Um, and Nemesis' version of uh, the mercenaries, uh, you have to get to the, oh, where is it? I think you have to get to the warehouse, where you start off the game. Uh, you start, I think you start at the, um, oh, you start at the cable car. Anyway, and it's timed, so how you get more time is by killing enemies, uh, saving survivors, uh, doing dodging. This was the first Resident Evil game that implemented implemented a uh, dodge feature, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, I've been talking for about, you know, three minutes now. It's been a bit too much. Uh, you know what? Let's get into Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. Only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. My last escape.
September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! All right, that was a really long intro. Uh, now you can click on this to get an additional. I told you, I'm not leaving. Never. Just get away from me. Okay. Now there's a first aid spray over here that uh, we should pick up if I can get around to it. There we go. And I can't remember. Oh, yep, here we go. And good ammo. And there's nothing else left. Okay. And it's so strange not pushing uh, X or anything to go upstairs. I remember the first time I played Resident Evil 3 and I walked up the stairs, I was like, whoa. I'm like, this is a huge, you know, like a huge step forward. Like, I don't know. It was, you know, a stupid thing to be excited about. Oh my god, I can walk up this stair without pushing X, without loading the stairs or anything, I don't know. Okay, so we don't need these uh, books. And one thing you're going to notice about uh, my playthrough, I'll probably tell you right now, I'm very color-coded when it comes to the inventory. I don't know if that's going to annoy you guys or not, but I am. Um, Okay, so we're gonna start like this. That goes like that. That can go there. Oh, that's a blue too. Okay. And that goes there. And we don't need that. So, okay. And what do we got? We have handgun right now? Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm so used to speed running the older Resident Evil games. <clears throat> That's the one thing playing this game I have to try and stay out of that mindset. You know, remember to explore, remember to read things, show things off, you know, all that stuff. Discuss things, talk about things, not just, you know, run, run, run. Man, I'm just so used to it. Uh, actually, to be completely honest, I can honestly say that Resident Evil 3 is probably the least played game that I've played of all the, all the games. To be honest. This one and, uh, Survivor, yeah. Fun fact, you don't actually have to beat the game under a certain amount of time to get the rocket launcher in this one. Because, oh crap. Uh, because there, for that mercenaries uh, mode like I was talking about earlier, um, you can unlock it by earning money. That's another thing I forgot to uh, say. Uh, when you finish the mercenaries mode, depending on how well you did, uh, you get money. And you can use that money to buy uh, unlimited machine gun, unlimited uh, gallon gun, uh, unlimited rocket launcher. 
I think there's f four of them. Yeah, the the rifle. Yeah, the assault rifle, the Gatling gun, the rocket launcher, and I think the last one. It's like a hundred thousand or something. It's a lot of money, and it's uh, basically every gun unlimited. Is what that is. And we want to take all these guys out because down the stairs there uh, is the shotgun. Sit down, bud. And I know we don't really have a lot of ammo right now. Oh, jeez. We got pretty close. Get off me. Yeah, yeah, I know that already. Okay, well... And this is also the first Resident Evil game. I honestly forgot about it just until now. Oh crap, forgot about that guy. Come on, bud. You're not gonna come around? I guess need him to fall down. That's all I care about. Fall down. There we go. And we need lighter oil. That's important. And the shotgun. Here we go. I think you can actually get two shotguns in this game. I know you can get a magnum really early on, too. Uh, yeah, this way. That was one thing that was pretty strange to me, that they gave the power weapons out, you know, pretty early. Because you got, like I said, you have uh, the handgun now, whatever start off with that. Uh, the shotgun, you get that already in the other games. Um, it takes a little bit to get... Dang it off me. Um, and, yeah, like I was saying, you get that off from the other side. Uh, yeah, you get the shotgun really early, like you just saw. Um, and the magnum, like... Okay, that's always fun. Oh, and fun fact, this... Well, we'll hit this guy really quick. This door here, um, <coughs> that I'm standing in front of, uh, once you beat the game, you get a key to get uh, more outfits. Kind of like Resident Evil 1, where you get the closet key. And that's where you go to do the outfits. And this game has a lot of outfits that you can get. Uh, you can get a Resident Evil 1 outfit, you can get, um, whoops. See, I'm going too fast again. <coughs> so yeah, like I was saying, you can get her uh, Resident Evil 1 outfit. Uh, you can also get a uh, <coughs> more casual type uh, outfit, which has a skirt, a <coughs> police uh, like blouse or something, and also has her hat as well. Uh, there's also an outfit, really. Oh, and I dodged from over that. Um, there's also an outfit from. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, what is it called? Uh, what's that game called? Uh, Dino Crisis. You can get uh, Regina's outfit. Her uh, black and grey outfit. I thought that was pretty cool. I never dabbled a lot in, uh, <coughs> in, in, um, what a lot of guy. I don't know why, this zombie right here in front of me always reminds me of Billy from Zero, and I don't know why, I think it's because it's his shirt, I think. It honestly doesn't matter if you save him or not. I mean, he doesn't die. Let's click on this. Uh, clock Tower Postcard. Now, there's going to be a bunch of pictures like this uh, throughout the game, so... A uh, picture postcard of a clock tower. The following explanation is printed on the backside. A landmark spot, St. Michael Clock Tower. 
Now, like I said, he's just... And done. See? You don't even need to do anything. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape. I love in Resident Evil 2 Remake when you play the uh, Scenario B or Part 2, whatever it's called, uh, when you go uh, to that room under the walkway in the front of the police station. Uh, there's the poster uh, recruiting for the stars or recruiting for the RPD and it's a picture of Brad and he they actually use the classic outfit the yellow um, the yellow vest for him I thought that was awesome all right perfect so now we have the lighter uh, there are handgun ammo in here I'm pretty sure we'll just take a uh, look in here Okay. And there we go, yeah. Oh, 30, nice. Okay, now I gotta remember where I'm going. Yeah, there's a bunch of zombies there. Okay, we'll go. Oh, I didn't mean to walk into him. Get off me. Oh, ah, oh crap. I was gonna say haha, -ha, but yeah, right. Not that lucky. If we go, oh jeez. If we go down here, is this where we need to go? It's been like two months or something, or three months or something since I've played this game. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay, so we're gonna wait for all of them. Oh god. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, I see him almost out again. And I keep forgetting about the quick turn feature. Oh my god. Oh, Jill, stop. That did not turn out how I wanted at all. And these are both red, aren't they? Yup. Does he have anything? Oh, uh, photo A. The policemen are pressing forward. It's dated September 27th. Now we have to use the lighter to uh, burn this. Okay, so we gotta try and not get hit by dogs here. And the oh Jesus. I'm really not having any luck. <clears throat> I 
Wow, well, this episode is definitely not going, you know, how I want it to go. I guess I have to use that first aid spray now. Oh, powder B. Nice that they both be. No, one is A, one is B. Okay. Cool. Okay, what is this? Uh, that's... okay. Okay, so these are going to go up here. And we're going to read these because I really don't want them in the inventory. Because once you read them, they uh, go away, so there we go. Instructions on how to create bullets, blah blah blah. We already know how to make bullets. Okay. Okay, let's go back in here and take a look. And... Okay, so we got our one weapon, all our mixtures, and that, okay. I can't remember if we need the lighter or not, again, so we'll keep that right now. Do I even have any null typewriter I could use? Ink ribbon, I don't even have any ink ribbons, do I? Nope. Oh, hopefully to summon the police station. I know you don't get a lot in this game from what I remember. Oh god. Now what happens if we go this way? Oh yeah, that's locked that way. Okay. And the RPD. Okay, so we're not going to fight him right now because we definitely don't have the uh, proper materials or um, anything like that. I mean, the alternative is you could have grabbed uh, Brad's, what do you call it, Brad's ID. But uh, I didn't want to risk getting hit. Now I, don't, well, now I know the one thing that I keep getting messed up with. Now, when I've been, because I've been doing a lot of Resident Evil 2, um, so, when I play, I'm always like, oh, where are those herbs that are against the wall? They're just supposed to be there or something. But I keep getting it mixed up with three. You know, there's no herbs uh, along this wall in two. Only in three. And I always get it mixed up, so. So let's go up here and grab the handgun ammo. If it'll grab it, there we go. And still no uh, typewriter stuff. Well, I don't know if it does a note here. Oh, it's a police station map. Yeah, so you don't do a lot of stuff in the police station. Uh, and in Resident Evil 3, it's very little stuff. Um, oh, yeah, you can't. Uh, I forgot you can't free move the uh, the cursor in this one. Oh well. Actually, can you use the computer or no? I can't remember. This terminal security system starts card. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we need the starts card. Okay. Okay. So let's grab these herbs here. Now. Remember, we have those red uh, herbs in the box. 
so we don't want to mix all these up. Okay, so let's go... what way? This way. And I believe there's a lot of zombies in here, so we're gonna switch to the shotgun. Someone's made a mess in here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I guess he's dead, and that's good. And there's Marvin. It's <coughs> RPD Marvin Branna. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. Report, September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municip municipal building, whatever, before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. September 26th. Based on an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m. where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the system. Yeah, symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence signed. Marvin. Okay. And look at that, we finally get shotgun shells. Perfect. Alright, so let's load these into the uh, shotgun. I can't remember if you can upgrade the uh, the weapons in this game or not. I know in Resident Evil 2 you could upgrade the shotgun and the uh, handgun and all that stuff. Okay, we can't carry any more items. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back for that. That's fine. Is there anything over here? Number base lock. Oh, I don't know that. Oh, and I think that's for a, um... What do you call it? Uh, the film. Okay, so we should be able to... Apparently not. Alright. Oh, finally, I think we finally have, uh... Okay, we can't get right items. That's fine. At least we have them now. That's nice. Okay, so what is that? That's a blue color. So... That can go... there. And that can go there. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we gotta remember to grab the blue gem. Nothing in the shelf here. Nothing in the shelf, I guess. No. Not this time. And that's it for that. Okay. Oops. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, I apologize if I was a bit, you know, too rushy and anything. Uh, like I said, it's a 
because I'm so used to speedrunning the original Resident Evil games. Uh, it's something I'm working on. I'm trying to get out of that thought while I'm uh, recording this series. Um, so like I said, if I'm a bit too rushy, you know, I apologize. Uh, if you did like the episode, feel free to uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe, uh, comment, anything like that. And, uh, you know, I will uh, see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you all have a great day.